seventh race pacing Phillies and mares are on the track and pretty to the post racing a mile a purse of two thousand five hundred dollars in the seventh race the three has been scratched number one Menard Wavemaker released by Kevin Reed of Lebanon Eric Lenford drives number two love you perfect to my Gene Hall and Gary Conley of Kentucky for Herbie Brown three is out number four Vicky's bunny of a Russell Crane of Marion Indiana the drivers change Greg Haston Haston Five, Katie B. Good over Virgil Morgan and Larry Lewis of Grove City with Mike Wilder. Six is Truly Sam's owned by Ellen Peterson of Buford with F Walt Ferguson, Jr. Seven is Charlie's Folly owned by Charles Blankenship and John Fike of Ohio. Mark Klotz aboard. Number eight, Jimmett owned by Kermit Schultz of Wapakoneta. Doug Routsong up. Number nine, Gwynny Lou owned by Gray, Deckard, Purvis, and Sharp. Chip Noble drives. At number 10, Go Mary Joe, by Wesley Hilton of Huber Heights, Kelly Shepard in the sulky. Win play show, trifecta twin, trifecta wagering. Only six minutes now, only six minutes. Seven three, spacing fillies and mares on the back stretch. There they go. And they're off, and it's Menard Wavemaker from off the rail for the lead from the far outside. There goes Gwynny Lou. From between horses, it's Katie Be Good off the rail, racing uh, fourth, Love You, perfect inside, and five, Vicky's Bunny. Along the middle in sixth, Go Mary Joe, angling in seventh, it's Truly Sam's, along the middle eighth, Charlie's Folly, Jim at the early trailer. Right of the upper turn, Gwynny Lou has taken the lead, leads by two lengths. Inside in second, Katie Be Good with a quarter move of the outside. Here comes Menard Wavemaker opening, panel 20 and one. Coming through the stretch for the first time. Fourth on the rail. Love you. Perfect. Three lengths, five. Vicky's Bunny. Another two lengths, sixth. Go Mary Joe. Inside and seventh, truly sound as they race through the stretch. On the front end, Menard Wavemaker and Lentford. They've cleared to take the lead. And Menard Wavemaker now with the front. Shows the way. Inside a second to Gwynny Lou. It's a gap of three and a half lengths. To Katie B. Good. They're at the half. 56 and three. Off the turn down the back stretch, and Menard Wavemaker will need a breather here as she leads by two. Gwynny Lou on the inside is racing his second. Gapping slightly third, it's Katie B. Good. First up on the outside of fourth. Here comes Love You, perfect, followed by Vicky's Bunny. In the cover flow, sixth comes Gomery Joe. The field begins to tighten now. Menard Wavemaker with the lead by a length and a half. Outside and racing his second now. Here comes Love You, perfect, three quarters, 126 and four. Midway to the final turn, and it's Menard Wavemaker by two. Love you, perfect on the outside is second. Gwynny Lou still game third. Vicky's Bunny swinging three wide as they turn for home now. Less than an eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come. Ledford going to work on Menard Wavemaker. Gwynny Lou down to the inside, 25 to one shot. Outside Vicky's Bunny for their outside. Truly Sams, four of them across the track. Vicky's Bunny gets up to win it. Unofficial winner of the seventh number four, Vicky's Bunny. This a three-year-old, a daughter of the Indiana sire Wethington from Vicky's High Hopes. Over Russell Crane of Marion, Indiana. Lloyd Gabbard, the uh, trainer, catch driven by Greg Haston. Third season's victory, pacing the mile 157 and two. Seventh race, now official. Four six ten trifecta, two hundred eleven dollars sixty cents, two eleven sixty. The uh, twin try returning two thousand three hundred seventy-one dollars and twenty cents, twenty-three seventy-one twenty.